P6 on the right, you've only gone back a little way anyway, you've only took it back to about waist level. Um, but good position, you've got back, in, you, you see there's a little bit of flex in the knees, a little bit of flex in the pelvis, you're over it with the chest a little bit more. Um, the body is already a little bit more chest on, pulling away from the ground at a lesser rate. Okay, so you've got the head cover now squeezed, sort of very tight, just above the right elbow, yeah? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to control the rate at which the right arm straightens so that we've got a little bit of accumulator one and a little bit of accumulator two, so the right arm and the wrist. Uh, when we get down to impact, or certainly through impact, we want to see the, the arm straightening at a lesser rate. So here the arm straightens out dramatically. The chest is pulled away from the ball more. The right arm, therefore, has to straighten to widen the arc. When the arm straightens, the wrist come out. It's easier to roll the club face, which is evident in that move through the ball. So we've got a right arm that's straight, a body that's stopping, and a right arm that's straightening through the hip. Sometimes you roll it, that's the hook. Sometimes you won't, and that's the block. On this one, and this is your initial swing doing it, so I expect to see this develop over time, but the right arm now is straightening, and we'd want it to, yeah? So accumulator one and two and three should be gradually releasing through the hip, certainly from P6 onwards. But we see another club face. And again, it's a passive shot, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie to you, you know, when you put some speed to that, the pushing up and the, and the extension yeah. is, is an additional um, or adds speed to the move, so there will be a little bit more of it. But we're starting to get some feels and some appreciations of how, in order to keep the head cover squeezed under or squeezed against the sort of base of the right elbow almost, we have to keep the body turning, we have to keep the side bend going which now means that the right arm isn't straightening as quickly as it did, as at such a high rate that it was now. But it could be four times that. It, it, could, it could be more, and, and as you saw before when you looked at the images of Robert Rock, um, Grant Waite and Hunter Mayan, we see that happening in varying degrees. Some players do it more than others. Some players have the ability to open the body up more than others. Therefore, they are able to side bend the P7 a little bit more than others. So, therefore, the right arm will look more bent than others. Some players are open, but not as open. We saw before, you know, we had sort of Robert Rock looking, I'm not saying this is exact numbers, but maybe sort of pelvis 20 to 30 degrees open. Yeah. And we saw uh, Hunter Mayhem, whose pelvis was maybe 50, 60 degrees open. Yeah. Now that means that there's more hip slide in this direction, which means there's more potential for the right shoulder to be lower to the ground, which means the right arm can be softer. But there's a similarity. We saw both players with a pelvis that was open, a chest that was open, and a right arm that was sort of still had some flex in it. Yeah, so there's a similarity between all the players. How much of that you add will be dictated by your ball flight. I mean, at the moment, that move that you make in there would seriously stabilise things because look, the swing direction's not out to the right as much and the club face is not rolling over as fast. So straight away the potential for missing to the right and the left. See, there, there the club face like that and there it's gone. Yeah. The, the image that you're looking at there on the right is more along the lines of what we saw with the, I'm just going to take the one on the left back, uh, the Hogan image we looked at last time. So what we've got here is we've got accumulator one is fully unloaded, accumulator two the wrists are fully unloaded, and the and the club face, the roll, accumulator three is the most. Yeah. And the hands are being directed out to the right. Now what we see in the right hand image is we see accumulator one at this point has released fully. That's fine. Yeah. Because it should be straightening by that point of swing. But there's still a little bit of accumulator two in there, which means the roll of the club is not as excessive. Yeah. Or the rolling aspect is not as great. So you see how that works, yeah? yeah. So consequently the chances, like I say, of missing left and right have just become reduced. You can still miss left and right. 
but you'll miss left and right to a lesser degree. So therefore you don't feel like you're just hanging on to it all the time. You feel like you can actually go at it without fear of, of things. Yeah, yeah. And it'll happen occasionally, but not all the time.